Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Alessandro Carminati, I'm from Red Hat and I'm working in the automotive effort for Red Hat. I've been, <coughs> I've been around with this CAS alias, which is a solution I am pushing upstream to solve the problem of the duplicate symbol in the kernel. In, uh, in, the, in the kernel, as you may know, there are duplicate symbols that are due from various reasons. And uh, the solution I am pushing to solve this problem is to provide an alias for all those duplicate symbols such that the symbols can be recognized and unique at the same time. Now, I arrived at the version 7 of this patch, and uh, there is still some problem in order to make it, mm, uh, to make it in, uh, in the kernel. So in this slide, you can see how the patch should provide its result. You can see the, that any symbol has a duplicate. The duplicate is made by using the, add, the file name and the address um, and the line number where the symbol is declared, so that this is enough resistant to be uh, unique, even if, you, even if it happens that you have uh, duplicate within the same compiler unit, which is possible by using, for example, static variable inside the inside the function. So the state as for version seven is that the, um, the, the, um, the patch already provide uh, the alias as service for VM Linux. Um, it provides alias for the entry modules and export the symbol uh, data to be used, for example, in, uh, if you need to build an out of three module. There is some, uh, um, something that you need to be aware, but still it can, it can be used. And for the um, minus side, we had that the make file machinery I choose to implement is not that uh, polite with the rules of make file because I, I have done something that the maintainer didn't um, didn't like, and um, um, the, the patch, as for now, does not consider the LTO produced uh, symbols, both the thin LTO and monolithic LTO one. Uh, you may know that monolithic LTO is um, mangling each symbol to make it unique. So. In a, in a certain sense, it already solved one of the problems I'm trying to tackle, but the way it solved is by adding a numeric prefix that doesn't allow to recognize the, the symbol. So even though the symbol is unique, you cannot be sure of what symbol you are dealing with. And in this moment, my patch doesn't consider this Mm, this symbol because they are formally not uh, duplicates. So then there is another problem that is from the derived from mm, header inclusion. As you may know, the header file defines static inline variable, but those in static inline variable not always are uh, in effectively inlined. And when it happens, you have fully, uh, fully fledged function that get copied each time you use that particular header. And this uh, creates not, always, not only duplicate name, but, only, but also duplicate function. And the way I am currently using to uh, tackle this problem is not uh, solving this problem because they arrive to be to have uh, the same alias because they are effectively defined in the same file at the same line another problem that i have
came from C file inclusion. This, uh, this for example, you may see this for example in the compact bin fmt elf.c where uh, the 64 and uh, the 32-bit uh, version of the, um, of the service is uh, implemented by using macro and including another C file. This cause uh, um, the function in that file to be uh, duplicate as name, but different as contents because the macro inside the, um, the, the, um, the file does change the contents of the main. At least um, there are um, there is another problem that derived from um, the uh, build of out of three module or however the later build. In, this, in the current approach, I export a symbol statistic. But there is a problem when a symbol that was previously unique is made, uh, become a duplicate from a later build. Because in this, uh, in this case, you have that the original build doesn't have any alias because it doesn't need at the time, but the new module that gets built on the second time as an, um, as a dupli um, as an alias. And this is not something that you may want. So here is my proposition to solve this issue. About the pipeline uh, issue, I, mm, I, I have modified the flow and fixed mm, the problem of not being respectful of the rules, which were, I were modifying input file, which is not, not properly polite in the make file uh, etiquette. Let's, say, let's put it in this way. About LTO symbol, I, were pro I was proposing to remove the mangling that is made by the linker at the link time that is only used at link time. Kernel doesn't use this number. So my proposition is remove the, the, mm, the, the suffix that LTO linker appends and treat this as they were uh, sim duplicate symbol, normal duplicate symbol, and make an alias for this. As for C inclusion, this is more tricky because in the, um, the, the problem is that the file got the same exact uh, source, file, source file and line number. Here, my uh, proposition. I propose to use the dash line preprocessor instruction to modify on the fly the debug information and make, uh, make them accordingly to the same macro that change the function. In, the, in this way, you can have a properly tagged file by appending some kind of descriptive string at the source file name. In the QR, you see um, a, um, a small repository where I put a POC of this thing. Another thing that may be worth uh, mentioning is that by, for doing this, I need a simple operation to be made at preprocessor level, which is not something that preprocessor usually do. And the way that I found to solve this problem is a, is a little bit hacky, which is defined for each line the successive number. In this way, I can simulate an increment to have the successive line in the, in the, um, in the debug information and have the correct line in the debug information. Okay, about the ladder build, um, the ladder build uh, in issue, I don't see any, um, any way out for this because if you build the kernel in uh, a certain moment and you don't know that in another time someone else would build another module that have a duplicate, you, there is nothing you can do. The only thing that may be said about this 
is that it could be possible to add an alias to each and every symbol of the kernel. But I don't see this as a solution because it would add an unnecessary uh, overload to the call seams that is not necessary. And by the way, the out of three modules or ladder build is not that common to require something like this. But otherwise, I see this as a no exit strategy, like making, like trying to solve the Ruby cube in the dark. There is no solution for this, in my opinion. So, the alias strategy is something that I'm pushing upstream. I had um, some uh, feedback for this. The conversation has somehow stopped in the upstream. I was hoping by this talk to sparkle a new, uh, new mm, interest in this topic and maybe have some feedback from people, from the community. And the, this is what I wanted to say in this uh, meeting. And if anyone has any, please. So I can understand why having duplicate symbols is ugly, but what's the actual functional requirement for these being unique? Sorry? So I can understand why having duplicate symbols in KL sims is ugly, but what's the functional requirement for these being unique? Like how are these being consumed that requires them to be unique? Because I think that's missing from the presentation. I don't know. Why they need to be unique. So when you have, when you want to make a tracing of anything, for example, for uh, you are chasing a bug. There is one uh, problem that I step personally that was searching a bug into uh, an interrupt issue on AR64. There, there is the geek uh, that have multiple... Geek Handle IRQ by any chance? Because we should just rename Geek Handle IRQ to be Geek V3 Handle IRQ. Like, a lot of those we should just fix. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that, I guess, okay, to jump real quick, I mean, the real thing is, there's, it's basically like, if you look for a symbol you want to attach to, basically you want to attach a BPF program or something like that, it's a lot of time it's done through a text name, and when you have six different functions for the same name, how do we differentiate? It's, yes, that's the thing, and, but basically, Yeah, sorry, I, I get that, and that's useful, but like, for the thing we've, we've got a module, why do we just not always prepend the module name to the symbol in Colson to make it unique for the late load case, for example? Yeah, it's ugly, but then if you don't care, you can just ignore the module part of it. Well, actually, uh, we should just change the interface for the attachment because the name is already there on the module. So, in fact, actually, there is, like, in Ftrace, you can actually put, uh, if you put, if you want to say I want to enable a function that's only in a module and nothing else, you just put the function name, colon, mod, colon, and the module name, and it will only enable the module, the, the function names in that module. In the module, you can have several object files, and then there are uh, static functions on different object files in there, and then you have different, uh, the same name in the same module. Sure, but if we've already got the other solution to do this per object unique, then that, then scoping it by module gives us the late module case. That gives us everything, right? Just. Um, so as far as I can tell, some compiler may make op optimization, say they take a part of the function and inline and make the other part uh, like mark with the code or something. How do you plan to handle such case because it's the line number gonna be, for example, at least there's none number gonna be confusing or missing? Well, if they are duplicate, it's something that I'm going to tackle. If they are just modified for other reason, I do not have any plan for this. If they are, if this modified function are by chance duplicate, my, uh, my approach would be remove the suffix and treat it as they were duplicate and so add an alias to them in the same way. This would be my, uh, my approach. Uh, I mean, so if it's duplicated, that, well, I mean, 
the line number may be missing because you're, you're like, this is only part of your function. Mm -hmm. right? You also use the beginning of the function as the line. I use what the uh, its address is reporting me. So, for example, if you, if you if I have only the first part, I will have the line where the function is defined. If by chance I have only the last part. I will have the line number where the last part begin, because I, I'm going to use the debug information with respect to the address that uh, is in the KL scene. I think what Song is trying to tell you is that <laughs> there's no connection to line. If a function is optimized to several parts and you, you like to attach to any of those, it's a different binary thing than what's in the source code. Oh. In this case, probably I, I, haven't, I haven't met this case yet, so I do not have any uh, solution ready yet. Still, if it happens, I will find out some, something. I do not have a solution for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, so... Uh so that's our, I just want uh, to clarify that there, there, the program of uh, the scope. Uh, so that are there, if there is some or uh, the uh, or say that the same name function, <coughs> that it's our inner uh, the, the different files, different C files. Mm -hmm. Those are uh, easy to uh, say that uh, find uh, the differentiate. But uh, uh, if the compiler makes or uh, say that are from the same file, same uh, symbol, uh, to the different symbols with uh, different, uh, what's it, the types. It is hard to, uh, sometimes hard to, or uh, what's it, the trace. Mm -hmm. Those are, what's it, that are with the same, as the same, what's it, that are the trace event or something like that. Yeah, because that are some are, it will change the parameters. Some parameters are gone, or, yeah, with uh, one symbol, but uh, another symbol will go, uh, what's it, that, uh, have uh, two uh, what's it, that, uh, parameters or something like that. So, mm, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure to have your, because yes, indeed, during the compilation, the, mm, the function may change the signature. And this is some, but they remain the same name, so their address can still be recovered from um, from the debug information. But I'm not sure this is what you asked. Oh, so that are you will use that are debug information? Yes. Okay. I use I use the, I t I take the address directly from the Dorf. If I understand correctly, you're saying that if you have two symbols with different, the same name but different prototypes, and you're using that as the key to look up, that's a pain. Yeah. yeah. Whereas well, if you can get the address, and then uh, then that's a unique the, key. The one that is effectively effectively implemented. I do not relate with the source code. I take the information directly on the DORF information. So it is something that comes after the compiler has do uh, all its magic. You mentioned uh, the inline functions actually not inline and, and, and present in several instances, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I think it's, uh, it's okay to have same name for that because they are actually the same function, right? Hmm? If you uh, declare some function as an inline, but it's mm -hmm. not actually inline in some cases, right? Mm -hmm. In that case, you maybe want to change the names to differentiate. Well, in that case, are not, uh, they are not on the whole scene, so they are not. If, if a function is inlined, I don't see it in the... Oh, sorry. If a function gets inlined, the, um, the function doesn't appear in the call sim table, so I don't need to tackle this problem, if this is the question. I think you mentioned some cases the functions are not in line, right? Uh, and well, I have several instances. You, in, you have this 
typical scenario for duplicate symbol. You have another file where you have an inline function, a static inline function. The compiler, for some reason, decide to not inline this function. Mm -hmm. This, as consequence of this, each C file that include that header file as a copy of the exact function. In this case, I have several uh, functions that are identical and they came from the same exact file yeah. name and line number. Yeah. The solution for this doesn't exist. My proposition is just to append a number because to uh, make them yeah. unique. I think, I think in that case, it's just a little bit uh, as is because they are... You may want to trace one just of these. One of those like uh, instances. So I want to, to trace this in line if it happens here. I'm not sure that's the, the reasonable, reasonable uh, use case, because you want to trace that function, you may want to trace all of that instance. No, not, not, if you want to trace all of them, you put all the copies but, in the trace. But the problem but is you can't, you, but you can't trace all of them, because whether or not it gets inlined is going to differ per compilation. So it's already not guaranteed, I think, is the point being made, right? So if you really want to trace that instance, trace the caller. Or trace by address. Or, or trace by address, right. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.